Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be focusing on adding text to your games. So what do we need to do? You'll, you've probably already noticed that there is this like uh, little text down here, new text. And what we're going to do is we are going to modify that text during the time that the player is playing the game to show how long the player has played. So when you add a text, game object, UI text, it will automatically create a canvas and an event system for you. So what we want to do is uh, we want to go to the text and change something here. We want to change it to uh, how long. No, actually we want to change it to I have played for uh, blank seconds. So some number of seconds. So we're going to start off at zero seconds. And you'll notice it kind of got cut off right over here. What we want to do is change the horizontal overflow to overflow. You can make it wrap in uh, overflow if you want. And wrap, it'll basically, if you run out of space, it'll bring it to the next line. If you do overflow, it'll just keep going on the same line. So uh, we'll do wrap and overflow. And what we want to do is make the font size appropriate. So I'm going to make it an 18. It makes a nice crisp font here. And then um, we need to anchor our text in the place that we choose. So you have to left click on this part over here, and then you're gonna hold Shift and Alt at the same time while left clicking on wherever you want your text to be. So I'm gonna put it right up there at the top in the middle. Now you can change the location of the text with position X and position Y, and uh, position Z, I don't think that does anything. Yeah, let's not change the Z. Z, is, Z would be in and out, and we don't really want to do that. We want to do uh, up and down. I played for zero seconds. Perfect. Now, if I was to hit play, it's just going to say I've played for zero seconds. Nothing's going to happen. It's not going to do anything. But um, what I want to do is I want to make that number change. So a text is um, one part. It has a string here. But if you want that string to change based on a number, like how much time has passed, you would also need a float or an integer. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an integer because floats can get kind of nasty with all of their um, digits. We're just going to use an integer. We're going to create a script. How long have I played? And we'll create some variables. So public. Now I said we we're going to do an integer, but we need to create a float for how long. And then what we're going to do is uh, we can create an integer, which is int, for how long rounded. So you can see what we're going to do here. We're going to measure our time and then round it to the nearest integer. We also need a string for um, our statement. So we can call this playtime. I don't want to use how long too many times, otherwise we'll have to select from the menu when we autocomplete. Okay, so we got a float int string. We'll see if we need anything else after that. Anytime you modify user interface, you want to add up at the top using Unity Engine UI and that will allow you to access things like a text variable um, time text oh text what do we want to call this um, play time text How about that so um, in start we're gonna say um, play time equals and then we want to make it match up with our game here. So I have played for zero seconds. In fact, I can just copy this. Oops. Copy all that. Control C. Write it into my script. And make sure you close it into quotes. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to break it up in a couple of places around the number. So include the space and then put your quote right there and then include the second space and put your quote right there. But instead of putting a zero, what we want to do is plus, and then we're going to put how long rounded, which is an integer, and then we'll put plus again. And the purpose of this is it will create our string and fill in this middle spot right here with a number. It's important you put spaces, otherwise um, you won't have spaces whenever it puts the string together. So this, since that's a default value of zero, will be the same as what we just had. Great. 
Now, what you want to do is um, in update, you want to change the value of how long uh, the float. Okay, so how long equals, or we can just do plus equals actually because we're adding a value to it. Plus equals will just add the next number we write. Time dot delta time. So that's the amount of time that passed. And we want our how long rounded equals how long dot um, math. Hmm. No, actually, we need to put uh, math f dot round to int. And that will give us an integer. And then we're going to put how long in parentheses. So how long rounded equals math f round to int. How long? Great. Now we are going to, um, since we have our values here, this is the amount of time that's passed. We're going to set our string. So playtime equals how long rounded. Just copy that value right there. Plus seconds. And then we want to set our text. Because even if we change the string, we haven't changed the text yet. So we're going to put playtime text dot text. Because within the text item, there is a text component. So we're going to change the text. Uh, sorry, this is the text component. Within the text item, there's a text component. So we're going to change the text to our string, which is playtime. And from there, we're almost ready to go. So what we want to do is uh, we're going to take some object in the game. You can put it on whatever you want. We can use our cube, which we've been mass massively adding scripts to. Um, I can take the, what do we call it? How long have I played? Throw it onto the cube. And you'll notice the text has not been assigned. So we can simply drag this text here. I'm going to rename it so that I can keep track. So I'll go back to the cube. I'll drag this text right into there, or you can select it from here. Okay. And now, check it out. We'll hit play. And we've got a timer. I've played for four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. But yeah, that's the basics. Uh, when you change a text, just create a string, and then edit the text. Using a text object, don't forget to use UnityEngine.ui. See you next video.